All right, so trapezoids and kites today. And draw and label a picture to describe each of theorems 916, 917, and 918, and add these to the chart you created yesterday. This is the chart I'm talking about. So we call this chart. We now have isosceles trapezoids and kites. Isosceles trapezoids, special type of trapezoid. And then we have the kites there. So I'm going to give you guys about four or five. Well, about four or five minutes to go through those real quick, okay? Okay, so going through these, uh, we have our neato table, and we talk about an isosceles trapezoid. Well, first, what what is a trapezoid? Chase? Good. Quadrilateral with one set of parallel sides. Now, if you have an isosceles trapezoid, it's different than just the run-of-the-mill trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid still has the one set of parallel sides, but what else? Yeah. Good. Has a set of congruent sides. The the legs are congruent. Okay, which also means our base angles are congruent. If you want to think of it this way, it's like a um, it's like an isosceles triangle with the tip cut off. Okay, so if you if you kind of extended the top piece out here, you have an isosceles triangle with the tip cut off there. Pretty cool, man. Oh, that's neat. Oh my god. That makes it an isosceles trapezoid. So much cooler. All right. So the properties of an isosceles trapezoid are all sides congruent. No, or opposite sides congruent. No, not on both. Not this way. How about opposite sides parallel? No, you got one set. How about opposite angles congruent? No, not not opposite angles. All right angles? No. Diagonals bisect? No. Diagonals congruent? Yes, an isosceles trapezoid. That is true. Diagonals are congruent. Okay, diagonals are perpendicular? No. Diagonals bisect opposite angles? When I draw it in there, it's not going to bisect. So, no. Nope. Base angles congruent? Very true. In fact, these angles and those angles are also congruent. Pretty cool. Doesn't matter which you call your base. Um, only one diagonal bisects opposite angles. That is not correct. And only one set of an opposite angles congruent. That is not correct either. All right, so an isosceles trapezoid doesn't have tons of those, but it has some. Okay, what's a kite? Yes, Emily? Good, a quadrilateral where adjacent sides are congruent. Adjacent meaning sides right next to each other, so that's congruent to that. That is congruent to that. Okay, some properties of a kite, well... We go back to our our deals over here. All sides congruent? Nope. nope. Opposite sides congruent? Nope. nope. Opposite sides parallel? No. no. Bethany, opposite angles congruent? No. Okay. No. All right angles? No. no. Diagonals bisect each other? No. Diagonals congruent? No. Diagonals yeah. perpendicular? Yeah. Diagonals are perpendicular, yes. That's one of our properties there. Diagonals are perpendicular. They cut at right angles. Yes? Opposite angles are not congruent. No, nope. not this one and this one. However, this one and this one. So one set of opposite angles are congruent. In fact, that's down. That's down here, right? In fact, none of those others work, right? Only one diag. Oh, well, actually, one diagonal bisects opposite angles. That one works. That's this one. Hey, Ethan, you and Bethany talking back there, it like distracts me. And you're like way back there. You get that? So like anyone within the radius of from you to me, let's relate this to math. That means people in Vogel's room, if the wall wasn't there, would be distracted by your talking. Holy moly. I know. I'm just telling you. Okay? Someone needs to say it. All right. There we go. Any questions? Okay, that's why they put walls in buildings. Students at top. Okay, very good. We get all the theorems through that? Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, 
Okay, you've got it all summarized right here, the last two lessons. I mean, that's why that makes this table so neato. Neato. It's a neato table. Okay, so taking a look at our assignment, diving in. Example side, numbers 1, 2, and 5. Why 1, 2, and 5? Because we don't need to do, or 1, 3, and 5. 1, 3, and 5. We can do those. I think we're going to be able to knock some of this out quickly. So I want you to work with your partners. 1, 3, 5. Go. They, they take our idea that a, a trapezoid is like a piece of a triangle. Okay. Yeah, 27. What? We have 180. We have to take off that 27. Leaves us with 153. And we take the 153 and we do what to it? Which gives us 76 and a half or 76.5 or. Okay? Yeah. All right. Coolio. Questions? All right, next piece. Well, this is just like an isosceles triangle, kind of. Remember, they're trying to cheat and use our ideas. But. All right. So we have angle 2 and 62. What do we know about these two? They are congruent because it's isosceles trapezoid, man. What do all angles of a quad add up to? 360. 360. We have to take away how much? 124. That leaves us with a grand total of? 236. And between that 236, we have to share it equally amongst how many? Two angles. 2 divided by 23 is? It's not 118, but that's okay. 118. 236 divided by 2 is 118. That's okay. Nothing, nothing. Okay, 118 degrees, 118. Very good job. <laughs> All right. yeah, yeah. I know. Two divided. That would give us 11. Anyway. Other questions on 1 and 3? Wait, 2 divided by 23 is an 11? 23 divided by 2. Did I say it backwards? You said 23 divided by 2. I meant it the other way. All right, number 5. Number 5, we got the 2 here. <laughs> this one's 31. How are we going to find angle 1 or 2? Go ahead, Carson. You subtract 31 from 180 and divide it by 2. And what does that give us? It gives us the base angles. Okay, that'll give us the base angles, these two right here. So if we divide it by 2, 149 divided by 2 is 74.5. I did that in my head, dude. Yeah. Well. I'm a professional. Okay, 74 and a half. What's angle two? Okay, can someone tell me why it's 74 and a half? If you ask how. Corresponding, good job. Nice work. Okay, corresponding angles, parallel lines, both 74 and a half. Questions? Neato. Burrito. All right. Uh, Number nine. Oh. Take a look at it. You get about no. three minutes to work on it. Go. Letter R or letter A. QR is congruent to ST is? Given. Given. Now, they've even marked that on there for you. Uh, angle QRT is congruent to STQ. That is? Definition. Of isos trap, or you could say base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Okay. Do that on test definition of isos trap. Yeah. QT. Aw. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. QT. Thank you. Is congruent to TQ. TQ. Yeah. By reflexive property of congruence. Which then tells us that RQT, that guy right there, is congruent to STQ, that one right there, by SAS. SAS. QS is congruent to RT. Hey, that's right. All right. Z, D, D. What does that mean again? Yippee Any questions? How many got it? 
All right. Why don't you take a look at the mix side of your assignment, please? Your assignment is the uh, mix side. Okay. Assignment is the mix side. Um, why don't you guys give number one a shot? Okay, any ideas on what to do on number one? Cameron, what do you think? Okay, separate the triangle, so like that. Kerchow, we get a little triangle there. It's a right triangle. How's that help? Someone besides Carson. Or, excuse me, besides Cameron. Maggie? So we can use the Pythagorean theorem because we know the hypotenuse. How do you know this? Very true. It's 22 minus 12, and it has to be distributed equally because it's isosceles. Now, if it wasn't isosceles, we wouldn't know that. We do, so that's 5, that's 5, that's 12. Gives us our length of 22. And if you know your Pythagorean triples, blank, blank, 13, or 5, blank, 13. But if you don't, you'd use A squared, B squared, C squared. Okay. I happen to know the Pythagorean triples, and I feel cool about that. But that's 13 squared. This is 5 squared and B squared. We figure it out. We end up with 12. Height is 12. Remember, height's an altitude. It goes from one base to the other at a right angle. All right. Yeah, I did. That's pretty right, man. Right on. <laughs> I get All right. it. That's pretty right.